Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nila. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for sticking with me. And let's get on to this video. As you can see, I've got something on my hair, so it's a hair video. <laughs> so today I wanted to show you a product that I've been using and actually from I first saw Natural 85. I think that's what she's called. Natural 85. Actually, I've been following her for years, 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 years since I became natural. Uh, natural 85 using it on her hair and she was saying that it's so easy for her to uh, do a blowout with this product. And I'm talking about the Revlon, uh, what's it called? Is the Revlon Pro Collection uh, Salon One Step Hair Dryer and Styler. I wanted to do a first impression on this product, but as you guys may already know from the video I just filmed, um, if you didn't know, I've been sick. I've been sick and I've had a, a sinus infection and it's been really bad. I've had fevers and blah 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 and I, I wasn't able to film but I, I, I did try it because I wanted to use it for a hairstyle and take it to work. Um, so I tried it without filming um, the video and I really really liked it so I wanted to share it with you guys. I bought it on Amazon. Um, it was it retailed for 30 pounds and we, if you've got Amazon Prime you get free delivery I tried it and I asked my sister to try it because the reason why I asked my sister to try it is because my sister has issues with her hair like um, not no not really issues she struggles in terms of taking care of her natural hair and it is it's, it's something that I love natural hair um women um a lot of natural hair uh, people struggle with uh, it, it's real as uh, some people don't struggle with it but a lot of people do struggle with taking care of their hair they just feel like it's tedious it takes too much time and they, they they're just too busy for it and sometimes it it's just difficult for them because especially if you have my texture like we've got full C hair it, it can be quite hard and it is true and um, for her she's really struggling uh, with her hair so I did suggest I asked her to use it and see if it was quick for her to like blow blow dry her hair and just keep her hair nice and blow dry and mix um, uh, mani uh, managing your hair easier and she did try it and she loved it so I wanted to show you guys in this video show you guys how I use the product uh, I've already washed my hair and I've already moisturized my hair sorry guys if you hear any noises because I am filming on a Saturday and the kids are here home on a Saturday I should be filming on Sunday because you're usually not home on Sunday but Sunday is my rest day so bear with me with the noise there is it day to relax and make noise as much as they want the product that i use on my hair is this product and this is the shea moisture smooth and tame blowout cream creme um uh, blowout creme i absolutely love this product not only does it smell amazing this product makes uh makes my hair uh, quite smooth and ready for blowout and then when you do a blowout it, it comes out really nice and soft and beautiful So I like this and I recommend it. I use it on my niece as well Although we don't blow blow dry my niece's hair. We just use it as a moisturizer as a moisturizer It's an amazing product. It makes her hair really soft um, Really nice and easy to manage really nice and i also use this moisturizer is the anti-breakage leave-in cream moisturizer i use it sometimes um actually most of the time i, I use it uh, a lot nowadays I i've actually gone through it um i don't know if you can see it but i will show you a close-up i've gone through it like halfway now and i absolutely love this moisturizer it makes my hair really nice and soft and 
easy to manage so um those are the two products that i use and in this step i don't actually add any oil i would just add the moisturizer so my hair has been washed i washed my hair yesterday but i had to rinse it in front again today because i used a new moisturizer that actually didn't work on my hair i'm just gonna show you i use this castor and shea leave-in moisturizer i'm not sure if it's because i already used this and then when i added these two together it didn't work it made my hair flaky so i had to wash my hair again in front because i only use it in front and i didn't use it at the back so i washed I, I washed my hair again in front so my hair in front is quite damp at the back it's um it's not completely dry but it's almost dry um but my hair is freshly washed uh shampooed conditioner conditioned and then i apply the leave-in conditioner without applying any oil so what i would what i would normally do before i do a blowout i'll section my hair into four so my hair is it's still wet though let me see yes yeah, still wet the, if you see anything white here it's because of the um the blood cream that i applied after washing my head today so i'm just gonna section it so what i will usually do is just detangle my hair so now i'm going to detangle it properly starting from the bottom and moving your way to the top so I'm going to take a bit of this cream because I didn't actually apply it at the back Ooh, a lot came out <laughs> cream just keeps the hair really nice and soft and this is what the product looks like So you switch it on from this side it's already fading switch it on you've got the medium and the full when you pull it towards the end and in me it's actually quite loud like a normal hair dryer so you switch it on so basically it blows out um hot air from here so when you actually brush your hair and it's actually blow drying and at the same time doing the brushing um, as you know um, a lot of um, hair dryers for um, afro hair I've got like those um, those brush right in front that breaks all the time and that's what used to make get me really really frustrated so having this kind of hair dryer makes things easy because it's like a a paddle brush but as a hair dryer which makes it really nice and easy to kind of brush your hair and blow dry it at the same time so I'm gonna do that
There's one thing I want to quickly say regarding um, blow drying with the brush. What I will say is that for my experience today, I will suggest that you blow dry when it is almost dry, not when it is wet or damp. Uh, let me say 80% dry or even 85 to 90% dry. And the reason why I'm saying that is because um, it takes longer if your hair is wet like my hair was wet today because I had to wash this part and it, this part was wet and it's taking me longer to kind of blow dry it and I don't like leaving my hair in heat for a very long time so I have to like keep going over and over again on this side to make it look like how the other sides are looking and even even as that is not blow drying it to the way that I want it to 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 be so what i would suggest is that you kind of wait till it's um 80 to 90 percent dry before you actually blow dry it makes it quicker easier and it works faster um and the purpose of me buying this blow dry is so that i could blow dry my hair quickly because i usually spend hours I was actually blow drying my hair with a normal uh, hair dryer uh, whereas with this one it it makes it quite quick if your hair is 80 to 90 percent dry so keep that in mind uh, when doing um, a blowout so I'm gonna go away finish blow drying this part because it's taking me forever to do uh, I've already gone through it a few times I'm gonna go in finish it off and then I'll come back to you and we're gonna talk more about this hair dryer I am literally <laughs> sweating I'm so hot <laughs> oh my gosh I am sweating so bad um, so I have finished doing my hair blow drying my hair and what do you guys think here is my hair all blow dried and I have to say I've, uh, my hair has been breaking a little bit and I've been cutting it as well um, a little bit but it's been breaking a little bit because I've been pulling my hair in a tight bun and that seems to be breaking my hair especially at the edges so I'm gonna stop try and stop you doing that but here is the finished look so I'm gonna take um, this heat protectant serum which I didn't use earlier completely forgot I'm just gonna put it at the top just to give it some shine she's gonna give it shine and it smells really really gorgeous I always get this <laughs> messages where people say we want to see the back so I'm gonna turn so that you can see the back um, I don't want anyone like telling me off for that so here's the back this is what we've got at the back I'll probably stand up a little bit so that you can see where my hair kind of ends I wonder okay I'm gonna stand my hair's at my bra strap right now that's where my my hair is bra strap I'm back <laughs> I never had like a hair goal in terms of my like the length of my hair I never do that I just want my hair to be healthy but if it's long as well I don't mind um, but it's on my bra strap right now so this is why it looks like but let's just talk a bit more about this hair dryer I would totally recommend it this is fast for blow drying hair fast easy convenient if you like to blow dry your hair before styling it i recommend this one i want to buy another one which has that you know that brush that really you know the brush that they use in the salon when they do a nice blowout um before straightening the hair i want to try that I've seen someone use that and i've always thought to try it i want to get that one uh, but this one i will totally totally recommend it's really nice 30 pounds in Amazon I'm not sure how much it is in Amazon US but it's it's affordable and it's from Revlon and it's really nice I like it and yeah and that's it with me uh, with this video if you like this kind of videos don't forget to thumbs up 
and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in my next video take care bye